Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, hello. Glad you're back with me again. This is another quick little tutorial to talk to you about a value chart. The second, maybe even the first most important thing, even, I don't know, it might even be more important than composition. I do believe it's more important than color, is your value. Your values are going to describe your form, they're gonna set the mood, um, they're going to make for drama or not. So values are important to understand. And every color, every hue has a spectrum of values. So we're going to make a value scale for every one of our colors. And we're going to start with ultramarine blue. We're going to start with the very darkest we can get. So I'm going to turn this around a little bit because I'm right-handed. And I'm going to basically do a graded wash from as dark as I can get with my ultramarine blue to as light as I can get. And I might take up the whole, the whole line on this one, but I want to get from a 10 being the darkest to a, a zero being pure white. So that's the idea. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you want it to be from white to the darkest, um, the darkest value you can get with that color. Now, in some colors, like your yellows, it's not going to be a problem. You'll, you'll, it'll. Your darkest isn't going to be all that dark. So now I'm adding just some straight pigment. See if I can get any darker than this. I think that's about as dark as she'll get. So, got a nice dark there. Cerulean is the next color we're going to look at. And cerulean is going to start out much lighter. This is about as dark and as saturated as I can get cerulean. And it's nowhere near the value that the darkest ultramarine, or, yeah, that the darkest ultramarine is. And it's been about the same value here for a while, so now I'm going to just add water. I'm going to add it starting here. It's not getting any lighter, so. Okay, so that's a nice. That's a nice line of ultra, of cerulean from deep, deep dark, almost pure pigment, down to very pale wash. Lots of different sky colors in there that you can. That you can see and use. I mean, just think of all the varieties. Then you combine this color with that color, or this color with that color. And there's, there's just, even though this is a limited palette, there are an incalculable number of colors that can be made with combinations of different values of these colors. So now we're going to go to Poppy. Just about pure. Just about white. Can you see? Quite a variety of values in there. Now we go to alicerin. I'm 
And so do this with your colors. Make yourself a little chart, something that you can refer to on occasion and get an idea of where you want to be both on the value scale and on the color spectrum. come into our yellows. Very different state of affairs here. Not as wide a range of possible values. Much easier to get to, to white with yellows. And our darkest perylene, oh my, doesn't look very dark, does it? A little bit of a watery mix here. Get more pigment. That's better. Perylene can look almost black. There you go. So there is my color chart for my eight favorite most used colors. Um, this should be very useful in future paintings. Hope you enjoyed this little exercise. Get one, tack it up to your wall in your studio space, and let me know if you enjoyed using it.